Good morning, everybody. It's country. It's um, 7.20 a.m. And it's just breaking dawn. Isn't it amazing? I just needed to capture this. I'm just getting ready to go to bed. And I thought that I should capture this. Um, it's been raining all night long. And it is very cold out here. I am in short tank top, as you can tell. But I feel much better, and that is such a relief. I cannot move my neck backwards in the backward mode, but other than that, it feels pretty good. Ooh, if I don't get the chills. I just wanted to capture the breaking dawn. I was absolutely think that it's amazing. So amazing. Hear the nature as well. I hear birds. Of course, you can hear the wind. But yes, of course, I hear, I hear birds when I come out, and everything's saturated wet. But um, that's because it's been raining all night long, all night long, and it's just, it's just actually cleared up. So, good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. <laughs> I hope I sleep well. I hope you sleep well if you're going to bed. In America, I'm supposing it's around a little bit after 1, 1 1.20 a.m. And some of you are just now going to sleep. And um, some of you may be just getting up. Who knows? But I am just going to go to sleep myself. I'm telling you, I'm on American time. <laughs> but who cares what time it's, you know, it is. Or who cares what time it is? When you can look at something that amazing. It's early in the morning. It makes no difference what time it is. So, peace, out, that's how we roll, God bless you all, I love you, I do love you, and I will talk to you when I wake up, bye, ta-ta, that means bye, my tree is blooming again, I just noticed it's blooming again. How is it blooming in the winter? My goodness. I love this tree. And when it's full out, oh my goodness, it's so amazing. Ooh. It's only blooming on, oh, it's blooming out there as well. My way in to 260.2. I can get a photo. It's the 30th of November, 2011. So, I have to do it again. Hold on. 260.2, this is it. There we go. Unfortunately, my uh, waist scale doesn't stay on like a lot of these. Alright guys, hold on a second. Okay. Um, so, 260. Coming off of a 20 pound gain. Let's recap, okay? Um, Sunday will be 
two weeks. Okay, December the 4th will be two weeks from my last weigh-in. I weigh in on Friday and Sunday, and I actually weigh in on Thursday night uh, with Weight Watchers. So, December the 4th will be two weeks from me weighing 254. 254. You've just seen I weigh 260. <coughs> After me weighing 254, you guys know that I gained on Monday overnight. I had gained 13 pounds. I woke up on Tuesday morning with another 7 pound gain. So that's 20 pounds in the course of the two days. Um, that said, me weigh in 260 now. That's a 14 pound loss. So that puts me six pounds away from being back where I was two weeks ago on Sunday. So today's Wednesday, the last day of the month. And I have four more days to go to see if those six pounds come off. What an amazing roller coaster ride. Um, I just slept seven hours. Um, I went to sleep around, I guess I fell asleep around eight o'clock this morning. Um, I woke at three, so I had seven good hours of sleep. Um, I, went, I went to sleep listening to a Charlene Harris book. Oh, that writer is amazing. She's a Mississippi woman and she writes about vampires and the, the fae and I don't know if you know anything about her but those of you who do know that she's an amazing writer and she's got so many books and so many series of books and stuff I own every single one of her books <coughs> and I absolutely adore her so I went to sleep listening to her book and oddly enough um, that, that book was seven and a half hours long I think <clears throat> uh, something like that on audio I of course only heard the first chapter or two <laughs> and I fell asleep because I, I put my mask on to go to sleep because if I'm sleeping in the daytime there's any kind of sun or whatever then I put that on also also then I put their plugs into my ears so so then um I can't hear anything except for the book. It drowns out outside people walking and kids playing and talking in the rain, and which I would like to hear the rain, but you can never hear the rain over all the other stuff. So the book sends me to sleep. That's not a good thing. <laughs> That's probably me saying it's boring. But it's probably the seventh time I've listened to the same book, which I absolutely adore. <laughs> so, <clears throat> sorry guys. I'm, I'm shaky. I, I am shaky. Um, I don't think I got in but about 5,000 steps yesterday. As it was my first day onto the computer, I was up late in the evening. I didn't wake till 2. Um... I stay up all night long. Again, I have to say, it is a super non-skill victory to stay up all night long and not eat yourself into an oblivion, not raid the refrigerator, um, not have super amazing cravings that a food addicted person would normally have. So I must be making some kind of headway and the 20, gosh, tomorrow would be 21 months. The 1st of December, 2011, be 21 months since I've started my journey. Um, my gosh, and I've lost 104 pounds. Yeah, weighing 260, I, I've still lost 104 pounds and six ounces. That is amazing. It's an amazing feeling. I'm very proud of that. And no matter how many times I roller coaster, 
I still got it in me to get it off. <laughs> I got it in me. <clears throat> that must what it um, that must be what it feels like when you're in maintenance and you're like trying to hover around the same number which I have no clue because I've never gotten to the stage to maintain. I've always lost the weight and then automatically something's happened to put all the weight back on. I once lost 170 pounds in this in the strand of two years so I could have back surgery and I was 1% off on my BMI and they wouldn't do the back surgery. So um, that's when I hurt my knee. I fell. That would be seven years ago. Almost eight. February it'll be eight years. And that's the last time I lost any weight until now. So when I fell, it took me exactly eight months to put all that weight back on. And it brought friends with it, as I always say that do. So that bossed me up to my highest weight ever, which was 364.8. <clears throat> And today you see my weigh in just now at 260.2. .2. So that's a total weight loss of 104 pounds and 6 ounces. And for those of you just popping by, just seeing my channel, just picking up on a video, 21 months doing Weight Watchers and exercising and working my own different little as I call myself, a lab rat plan. <laughs> High protein, low carbs, because I'm a, di a type 2 diabetic. I take daily injections of Victoza and five metformin tablets a day. I'm currently off all medications because of seven, eight, is it eight days ago? I think it's seven, not sure. I forget at this point. Taking myself back off all of my medications at this point. Um, I take Tramadol for the amazing amount of pain I have in my back because I suffer from DDD, two types of arthritis, spondylitis, sacriitis, um, you name it. I got a herniated disc uh, in my lower four or five, five L back. Um, I also have to have a total knee replacement from that fall almost eight years ago. And then I've been waiting that long to have that total knee replacement, which they deny me because I was too fat. And in my endeavor to get the weight off, I was recommended from uh, an orthopedic surgeon and my dietitian and my GP, three doctors, to have yet again another run at having weight loss surgery. Um, I once was recommended for the same thing so that I could have back surgery in America and I got turned down. Actually I was on Blue Cross Blue Shield and they wouldn't, they wouldn't front it. So you know that was an insurance issue. This time <clears throat> it was absolutely doctors saying no. So on June the 30th, 2011 I was turned down for weight loss surgery and I've just continued to do it on my own. Up until then, I lived like every day I thought like I had a band because that's what they were gonna do, gastric banding. So my doctor at that point, when they first told me, uh, 16 months prior, said, live like you have the band, research it, because um, that's what the bariatric surgeon would be doing, gastric banding. So live like you've got the band. And so that's what I did. <clears throat> I took vitamins every day, I eat small portions every day, I exercised every day, I took in a lot of protein every single day, I cut the carbs as low as I can because I'm carbohydrate sensitive, and i done everything every day um, as a banded person would do. And then June the 30th came, which was five months ago, people. And I, at that time, I had lost around 47 pounds. 47 pounds. I was I was down around 47. I would go up, you know, 50 pounds, but I'd go back down. I was hovering right around there. 
And so I got the news that day. There's a video on June the 30th, if you look back on the day that I got turned down for my weight loss surgery for the second time. There is a video there. I think I'm sitting in my car telling about it. Um, and the shock and disbelief of living for 16 months at that time um, as abandoned. You know, you get that in your head. You do all the research, you become friends with all the friends that's had weight loss surgery, which, by the way, has helped me immensely. It's a community that is absolutely amazing. And then I got turned down for the second time. So therefore, I had to either give up, lay down and die, or take my life back. And I chose to live and do it myself. I chose to live and, and fight, and I've fought every day since, every single day. I fought and I fought and I fought for my life, trying my best to get rid of these diabetes, these injections, these medications. I also suffer from fibromyalgia, which I try not to talk about because it's so whatever. Um, I have, I was diagnosed with that, um, almost 14 years ago now. <clears throat> so, you, you must have strength comes somewhere and you move on. You get up every single day and you do what you have to do. You work through the pain and the sickness and you work through every single thing that you have to work through to get where you want to go. And I've chosen, I've made a change. I've made a change in every single thing I do, really, basically. It's a, it's a, it's a large change. It's a huge change. It's a gigantic, enormous change. And change is good. Amazing change is. Because you find your strength. Your inner strength. And you know how close God is holding your hand. Or walking with you. Or carrying you. Every single step of the way. Every single time in the past two to three months that I have two months actually I know it's happened in the past but since I'm head, so headstrong on going forward the lapses in the roller coaster ride the lapses that I've had in the past two months have been first one was 12 pounds then I had a 13 pound one then I had a 14 pound one then I had a 20 pound one so that's four times but I have fought my way back through them. And on three occasions, I did it in one week. This time, it's taking me a little longer. But I still can do it. And you can too. I don't know what, what you're fighting, but whatever it is, everything is worth it. It's always worth it. Everything. To get on that scale and know that I am just ounces away from two fives again, and how f how far I've come and how hard I fought the first time to get into two fives, and how hard I fought to get to two six, two six anything. I remember that um, video laying out back on the on my hammock and saying. I want to weigh two six anything, two six nine, you know, anything. And I remember singing that song when I got to two six nine. <clears throat> you don't forget those little things. You can't. This is such a journey, such a hard, hard, hard fight. That you have to be constantly in memory. And, and focus and realization 
of every single thing that you do. You have got to be listening to your body and you got to want it more than anything in this world. If you don't want it as bad as anything, you will have difficult times. You will. <clears throat> and I want it so very bad. I do. Just the feeling and the knowing that I lost 104 pounds and 6 ounces and and I, I find myself, I know exactly down to the ounce how much I've lost. <laughs> I know that it says 260.2 on the scale today. And I know that two weeks ago on Sunday that it said 254. But I can't, can't and will not beat myself up about that. I don't. You can't. You gotta let that go. It's what it is. It is what it is. And then you take steps and you move forward. <clears throat> you pick yourself up. I don't care if you gain 10 pounds in a week. You stop. You halt. And you restart. You start over. You wipe the slate clean. And you restart. I don't know how to emphasize this any stronger. Other than saying it is always an uphill fight. It is a mountain to climb, and I know from everyday life, everyday experience, everything that I do, that it's worth every single moment of it. Every single moment. I, <clears throat> I really can't convey that hard enough um, to fight for what you dream of what you believe in and for your own life is the most amazing extraordinary thing that you could possibly do and to do it with all your strength and your courage and your your battle scars through the pain the sweat the tears and every single thing that you have to put into the fight you gotta do it you just you just pull together and you do it, you fight. Guys, <clears throat> it's the last day of November. Tomorrow's December the 1st. 2011. November will soon be no more for this year. So, reflect. See what you've done. See what you have in you. See what you can do more. See what you want more. I know you want it. If you want it half as bad as I do, I know you want it. So go get it. Because it's yours to obtain. It's all yours. Alright guys. You know what I'm going to say. Peace. Peace. That's how we roll. God bless you. And I pray for you and hope that you pray for me. Do something for yourself today so you can do something for someone else tomorrow. Or do something for someone else today so you can do something for yourself tomorrow. Have a blessed day. I love you. Hey guys. Country Girl 555 here, Tina. Um... Well, it's about 5 o'clock p.m. on the 30th of November, and um, I'm going to have something. <laughs> I have decided, and I'll show you now, to do a little juicing today. So as you can see, I've cut in half three pears, two clementines, one apple, and a half of a lemon. I have a bag of fresh celery just opened, and a bag of carrots just opened. This is the basis for a nice juice. I did, however, cut up a humongous um, cucumber, and when I cut into that cucumber, the smell of it was so amazing, I have to show you, that I have decided to eat it just as it is for what is my breakfast, 
and not juice it. I'll sip on my juice as I go, but I'm going to have a nice sweetie. Um, let's hope the carbs in that fruit, which um, by looking at it, um, it is 50 grams of carbs just by looking at the amount of fruit. That said, 50 carbohydrates. Um, I will have to combat that with a protein shake very quickly because sipping on all those carbs, and I know this from experience, is going to make me hungry. I don't want to get too hungry that my body reacts in a different way. That's saying, hello, my name is Tina, I'm a food addict. We all know this. If you watched any of my videos, you know that I have a food addiction. So, when I juice and I use fruit, it triggers that carbohydrate sensitive person inside me that wants to just yum, 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 chew, 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 chew. So, with that said, I have to make sure that I combat that with plenty of protein. Um, some kind of lean meat or protein shake itself, uh, something. But I want juice today. Um, I have drank water for the last seven, eight days nonstop with lemon in it. And that's the only drink I have had. I have not even had a cup of coffee. Um, yeah. Huh, amazing, right? Sometimes we could do without things we didn't even think we could. So. I'm absolutely, that cucumber smells so wonderful. It's amazing. <laughs> so I'm going to eat that, physically eat it. So i got something to chew on, crunch, and give you that sense of activity that tells our brain, hey, you know, we're eating. We're good. We're not, um, you know, like... I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but we're not like depriving ourselves of that, of that. So I just wanted to show, and I'm going to do the juice without you um, having to hear the juicer go, um, I think. Or should I get it started first and then, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Come on. <laughs> okay, I'm just putting in the pears now. As you can see, that's pure pear juice. I could just drink that as it is. It's absolutely amazing. Um, now goes the apple. Only one apple. Which so is a small apple that's 10 carbs by itself. 10 carbohydrates for the apple. 10 each for the pear. And 10, 10 each for the uh, clementines. They're very, very, very small guys. Very small clementines. And as you can see, I have almost with just that amount. That's only straight fruit right there. Now those, um, I think I might have to half that lemon. I'm going to put um, a couple of carrots, just two small ones, in that. going to be a wonderful drink, but I need to cut, um, my lemon. <laughs> I told you I'm a redneck juicer. <laughs> one more carrot in it. And that should give me two full cups. That's my... Guys, the smell of that is amazing. It's outrageous. 
I kid you not, I promise you it smells absolutely amazing. And in my two cup Guys, I could put my protein powder in this. I could just flip this right over into my blender and add my protein, uh, my soy, it's a natural yellow. And I could have 50 grams into this two cups. I could have 50 grams of uh, protein in that natural juice, but I don't want to do that. I want to have that natural juice just as it is. Um, hold on one second. <clears throat> it's the other half of my lemon that I'll be adding to the other juice. Let's see if I can put this in my glass without pouring it everywhere. Oh, that's beautiful. I did have a few drops down, but that's okay. Let's, um, let's not spill it, first of all. We don't want to spill it. Because the pears went in, it's a little bit thick. So it makes for a nice thick juice. That is amazing. Natural sweet. No sugar added. Fresh made. Natural. Homemade. Amazing juice. Amazing juice. So... Let's recap. Um, in that glass, which holds 50 carbohydrates, I have got my five a day. I've got celery, I've got carrots, I've got pear, clementine, and apple. Celery, carrots, clementine, pear, and apple. That's my five in the one glass. Now, Spacing that out over a day's time would normally be an okay thing to do. Um, however, I don't intend to, you know how late in the day it is, I don't intend to eat after a certain hour. And I've been, been able to do that. So, I will have that juice and just take it as my 50 carbs. And then I will combat that, which I know there's protein in that, natural protein, and I'm not sure of how much at this at this moment. I'll have to figure that up. Put it in my phone and it'll work it out for me. But trust me, oh, and a half a lemon. Never forget the lemon. <laughs> and you did see me put, I didn't peel the clementine, I didn't peel the lemon, it all went in. I didn't peel any of it. It all went in just like it is and it gave me a pint of natural juice natural sweeteners and everything I'm going to eat that so there you guys see my breakfast that was my breakfast long video but you know what that's how we roll <laughs> so peace out that's how we roll guys God bless you. I'll pray for you and hope that you pray for me. Have a good day. Bye. Or ta-ta. That means bye. Five colors in her hair Not in
it's a fashion, but I love the clothes she wears. Her tattoos always get a fire underwear. She don't care. Everybody wants to know her name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do a house party and she can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone asks me, who the hell is she? That widow with five colors in her hair. She's just a loner with a sexy attitude. I'd like to phone her cause she puts me in the mood. The rumor's spreading out, she cooks in the nude. She don't care, she don't care. Wow! Everybody wants to know her name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does she go with a new foul yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone asks me, who the hell is she? Five colors in her hair She was all I thought about